Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Road to a Moonlight Greatsword build in Dark Souls 3. So if you caught up on last week's episode we did take down the Dancer and that was the huge blocker and the cork stopping all of the fun of this particular run. Um, so we're now uncorked, it's unplugged and it's just insane what you're able to do this early on in the game. Um, I've gone straight into Upper Lothric Castle and it was really comedic actually, even the kind of fodder enemies, the mob type enemies that you usually kill in like one, two hits. I was so underpowered against them, it was insane. They were taking like four or five hits. Uh, yeah, so it was just really funny uh, and amusing to be in a late game area and it's like you're not supposed to be there and it just makes it more fun. Um, so I farm the absolute hell out of the area, it's superb. If you are planning a run like this, straight after the Dancer you go straight into Upper Lotheric and make sure you farm it. I'm going to show you a particular farm that I did that was really really good, helped me gain loads of levels, get my build really really mature. Let's be honest, I'm going to be insanely overpowered for uh, most of the game if I'm honest, or a good portion of the game, maybe the majority. Um, and, and that's kind of fun as well, that's my reward for the suffering that I did versus Dancer uh, and I think it's going to be entertaining to watch. So there's a particular farm coming up here I'd recommend, it's a guaranteed large Titanite shard drop each time. Um, so I'm able to actually get my battle axe up to plus 9 before I go into the Osiris fight which is insane when you think about it about the fact that I haven't even fought Abyss Watchers and I've got a plus 9 weapon so you can imagine the devastation that would do against the Abyss Watchers alone um, so yeah really great area I pick up tons of titanized scales in the area too um, and then of course we head into the Osiris fight so relatively easy fight took me a couple of goes just to feel out his moveset again but with a plus 9 battle axe yeah I, I was rocking it it was great and then what I do, I take a little dive into um, Untended Graves, because obviously you've got two Crystal Lizards there that you can pick up four Titanite Scales from, and we need to make sure we can upgrade that Moonlight Greatsword as much as we can. So I get it pretty high, I'll, I'll, I'll let you watch that later in the video, it's pretty good, um, and it's pretty devastating against you know the earlier areas. Um, and we wrap up at the end with a boss fight against the Crystal Sage, so look out for that one. Like I say, I'm using a very high level Moonlight Greatsword versus a low level boss like the Crystal Sage, so you can imagine how that's going to go. It's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this, this one. Not much more from a commentary perspective. Um, I'm really enjoying making this run. It's just, just so much, so much fun. A really different way of playing the game. You know, seeing souls from a different perspective, a different angle, it makes it fresh every time. And I think that's what brings us back to From Software Games. You can always try something new. I think the only one that didn't offer that flexibility, I've talked about it in, in the past, is Sekiro. And I think that's why it, it doesn't call me back in the same way that Souls or, or Born do. Um, so yeah, that is it from me. I'll catch you for episode three, uh, where we get further into this Moonlight Great Sword run. All the best, guys, and thanks for watching.
beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. Well, I will not give him up, for he is all that I have.
Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. How intriguing. Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer, with plenty to share. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you're not that sort of man. So you will make me a promise that in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing sorcery secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? Very well. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck, a Vinheim, unkindled one. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school.